Hey, Cancer, welcome to your weekly reading for the 17th to the 24th of June. I am Charlene Lizette. Let's dive in and see what's going on for you this week. I do have to tell you that when I was doing the pre-shuffle, I did see the Six of Wands a few times. So I've got a feeling that this is going to be a week for the Bucks. I feel like after some sort of challenge or difficulty, you're going to reach a level of celebration. Maybe you've been working really hard at a project. Maybe you've been wanting to manifest something. Maybe you've been um, really focused on um, providing you know, a new product, a new service, maybe a promotion. Like there's something here that you've been working towards. And this is the week where you're going to receive it. The world, um, and then the five of cups at the bottom. Yeah, like the, the time of challenge, the time of disappointment, the time of restriction is done. And the tarot confirms that as well as I'm looking at your spread. Mm -hmm. I think for a lot of you, this has to do with work, Cancer. We have the 10th house here as well. We are coming into a Capricorn um, full moon as we enter into your energy, your time, right? Uh, you are the opposite of Capricorn in the astrological wheel. I'm missing a deck. Oh, there it is. Okay. Let me just pull out these cards here and we'll dive in. All right. Okay. <laughs> here we go. Yes. Love this. Okay. This has been something that you've been working on towards your freedom, okay? If if you and I were sitting down together and if I was your bestie, would you be talking to me about the freedom that you seek? Would you be saying to me, Charlene, I'm really like, I want to live a life of flexibility. I want to live a life on my terms. Like I am tired of living for other people or I am tired of having to do A, B, C, D, E, F, G all the time. I want to live for me. Like if that's a conversation you feel like you would have with me if I was your bestie or with anybody else, then this reading is definitely going to land with you because we have freedom showing up as your mantra card. And it says, I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. Then we have, you got the love, Hadrian energy, codependency boundaries. Okay. So this is about you learning how to reclaim your power, how to have the confidence to say no to other people, how to stop allowing people, places, things to suction or siphon your energy. Okay. And with the 10th house showing up here, this is like, this to me is like jackpot energy. And the reason for this is because the 10th house in astrology is where your midhaven lies. And your midhaven is your public image. It is your career. It is how the universe wants to receive you. In astrology, the 10th house is where you feel career fulfillment. It is where you have your social status, where you can potentially have fame. Lots of um, really famous people have a lot of planets or very auspicious aspects in their 10th house, okay? This also talks about your achievements, your discipline, your father figure, okay? Ruled by Saturn and Capricorn. This energy is the about the hard work you put in, you reap the rewards, you celebrate, okay? For example, the 10th house is about the energy that you are meant to share out into the world, okay? So you do wanna look at your 10th house, especially if you've been feeling very stuck around your finances, nine of pentacles, nine of swords, maybe worried about how you're gonna attract more money into your life. Maybe you're saying things or using words like, I'm feeling um, very stuck financially or I'm tired of being broke or why is it that all this money comes in and then all this money goes out? Why can't I save money or what is going on? Why don't, you know, why don't I ever have enough money to pay my bills or whatever? You know, there's some, there's some story here that's woven in your life around your finances. The 10th house here has a lot to do with your finances because your career is directly correlated to the money that you bring into your life. So when I'm looking at this spread here and I'm looking at this energy here, I'm seeing that you're in the process of building the blocks towards this financial freedom that you seek. You have to learn how to reclaim your power. You have to learn how to rewrite your story. You have to learn how to embody your astrology prosperity keys. These are all very important things for you to understand. Knight of Swords here moving into the Two of Wands. This is you learning that you got to get out of your comfort zone. In order for things to shift, you got to shift. Right? You can't keep looking at the same wall expecting for the scenery to change. Like it ain't going to happen that way. Okay. And then the two of wands to the three of wands is a progression here. And so what you're doing is leaving some things behind. You're understanding that it's time now to look into the future. You're thinking about what it is that you seek 
to have in your future, right? Like if I had a magic wand and I could take you a year into the future, what does your life look like? Okay, so what are now the baby steps you're going to take to make that happen? Because this nine of pentacles and this nine of swords is smack dab in the middle of your reading. This is telling me here that there is something about your own independence, your own financial stability, your own financial security, your own money story. OK, that is at this current time, creating some sort of blockage here that doesn't need to be there. OK, I want you to listen very carefully to what I'm saying here. This blockage does not need to be there. And you have to work really, really hard right now, like put in that energy, put in that time, journal, shadow work, do the work. OK, because you can rewrite your money story so that you can wake up every day and feel that financial freedom, that financial fulfillment, so that you can wake up every day feeling confident and trusting yourself in the decisions that you make. T page of Swords, Temperance, this is about alchemize. This is about your words. Your words become your reality. There's this beautiful poem um, by the Umpashats that says, like, watch your words for they become, so watch your thoughts for they become words. Watch your words for they become actions. Watch your actions for it becomes your destiny. Uh, or, no, watch your action for it becomes character. Watch your character for it becomes your destiny. So be very, very careful with your words here, especially with Jupiter and Gemini, Mercury and Gemini, the sun and Gemini. Venus is moving into your sign, which is going to be a little bit of a, a nice uptick towards the end of June. OK, but there's still this Gemini energy and Jupiter and Gemini, babe, it expands. So whatever you speak out into this world is literally being like brrr, electrified out into the universe. So be careful with those words. All right. Even the amulet you got is Sana. Sana is all about healing that heart chakra, baby. OK, listen, we all have trauma. We all got pain. We all got suffering. We all got our challenges. All right. What are we going to do? Sit in our shit and cry and mope and weep? Or are we going to persevere? Persevere, right? We're in this. You're watching this because you're a type of person to persevere. Okay. I like to attract high vibrational people onto my channel. All right. And that's how it rolls. All right. So you and I both know it's time for you. You're declaring you're shifting. You got to shift. Period. Hard stop. Okay. You can't sit there and tell me I want to shift and then repeat the same shit. Right. Right. Okay, let's dive into your love reading. I totally would recommend for you to go follow me on Instagram and sign up to my mailing list. It's free. It's in the description box below. I send over tons of information and provide you it all with as well over on Instagram. Different tips, different pieces of advice, knowledge, teachings, education, okay, inspiration, all that kind of stuff to help you with really reclaiming your power and finally living that life of your dreams healing family issues in your love life here with the six of swords three of wands give your relationship a chance and you deserve love knight of wands okay here's what i'm going to say to you if you are trying to get to this next level in your life okay like whatever next level financially next level physically next level mentally whatever you're doing some sort of self-work here you're doing some sort of uh, self-development right you're very self-aware here cancer and you are surrounding yourself with romantic interests that are not there, those people cannot come with you. They can't. It's just, it's not possible. All right. So really understand that. Really learn that. If you are truly asking source to provide you with new pathways, be willing and ready to walk away from some people and maybe meet some people here along the way that are temporary and specific. Maybe they're not there for a long time. They're there for a fun time. But these are the people that are going to show you that like there are, there are, there exists that love, that happiness, that peace, that bliss, that bliss, that romance that you seek. OK, so don't keep going backwards when you know you're meant to go forwards. All right. I'm going to pop this video here to help you out. If you want to book a session with me, work with me in any capacity, take any of my courses. It's all in the description box below, especially my money magnet workshop, which I think would be really, really helpful for you. OK, that's all down there. Thank you so much for your likes, your comments, your shares, your subscribes. We will see you later, alligators. Peace out. Bye.